Hey Tiger, aren't you excited for our lesson? Today we're going to hike further in division and practice dividing three digits by two digits. Wow, this is a wish come true. I totally love division. Well, here you have it. So, are you ready? You bet I am. Division 3 by 2 digit Introduction Divide a 3 digit number by a 2 digit number. Let's see how to divide a 3 digit number by a 2 digit number. Let's divide. 386 divided by 11 We write the division bracket and write 11 outside the bracket and 386 inside the bracket. Step 1. We cannot divide 3 by 11 since 3 is smaller than 11. So we consider the tens digit as well. We figure out how many 11s does it take to make 38 or almost 38. To estimate the quotient, we round off 11 to the nearest tens, which is 10 and then divide 38 by 10, which is 3. We multiply 11 times 3 equals 33, which is just less than 38. So it takes 3 11. Step 2. We multiply 11 and 3. We get 33. Step 3. We subtract. 38 minus 33 equals 5. Next, we bring down the number in the 1's place, which is 6. The number now becomes 56. We repeat the steps. We divide again. We figure out how many 11's does it take to make 56 or almost 56. To estimate the quotient, we round off 11 to the nearest tens, which is 10, and then divide 56 by 10, which is 5. We multiply 11 times 5 equals 55, which is just less than 56. So, it takes 5 11s. We multiply 11 and 5, we get 55. We subtract 55 from 56, we get 1. We stop division because 1 is less than 11. So, 35 is the quotient and 1 is the remainder. Let's look at another example. 170 divided by 27. We write the division bracket and write 27 outside the bracket and 170 inside the bracket. Step 1. We cannot divide 1 by 27 since 1 is smaller than 27. So we consider the tens digit as well. We cannot divide 17 by 27 since 17 is smaller than 27. So we consider the ones digit as well. We figure out how many 27s does it take to make 170 or almost 170. To estimate the quotient, we round off 27 to the nearest tens, which is 30. And then divide 170 by 30, which is 5. We multiply 27 times 5 equals 135, which looks much less than 170. We try the next number 6. We multiply 27 times 6 equals 162, which is just less than 170. 
so it takes 6 27 step 2 we multiply 27 and 6 we get 162 step 3 we subtract 170 minus 162 equals 8 we stop division because 8 is less than 27. So the quotient is 6 and the remainder is 8. It is challenging, but I loved it. I'm happy about that. Math is a fun ride if you enjoy it. There's lots more coming up.